Hello and what is up guys, Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD and this is episode 18 of the Dream Team series. As you can see we start off this episode by opening up a bronze pack. We have 11 Dream Team points and then we're going to go into a bronze match. <clears throat> so, it is Christmas Day. Um, it isn't Christmas Day as I'm doing this commentary so I'm not quite... I'm getting in the Christmassy mood but hopefully you guys are in the Christmassy mood. What, what did you guys get in your presents? I'm interested to know what are you expecting to get today if you haven't opened them all already so let me know in the comments section below also before we get into the first game just want to say a quick shout out to FIFA coins today they sell cheap ultimate team coins and are very reliable so if you are looking to buy some ultimate team coins with your Christmas money or whatever make sure you use the discount code Ezekiel G and you will get a big a chunk off your purchase basically and then we go into our first game you can see we come up against this team here and as you can also see there is a lot of snow on the screen and apologies if this is going to annoy any of you um, for the majority of you you should be in the Christmassy mood by now um, so it shouldn't affect you too much but um, yeah it will all go and melt by the end of next well the end of this episode basically so it won't be it'll only be in this episode um, but here we hit the crossbar twice um, just to show you guys um, that opportunity he hit the crossbar on his uh, first goal and then got the rebound of it so it's pretty frustrating that I hit the crossbar twice um, here put through Janest with a lovely free ball over the top ball great control put it into the back of the net 30th minute he does get a cheeky little opportunity here um, he crosses it back in hits the crossbar and it goes in again so he's, he's hit the crossbar twice and got rebounds from it and scored from it in this game I was a little bit pissed off about that I'm not going to lie here I kind of read that he was going to header it out to his uh, centre mid or CDM whatever it was um, but I'd do a nice free ball to Janest here he goes for a weak foot shot across the goal it kind of turned out to be a little bit of a P roller but we do win that game and we obviously uh, playing with the bronze team will increase my fitness and stuff like that of my other team so that's going to help a lot and I've also won the game so that's great after that I looked for a new centre back I had just about well, just over 1100 coins so if I could find one for 1100 that would be perfect managed to find this player here called Davies and I picked him up and I have like 24 coins or something remaining but I now don't need to actually give my centre backs any fitness cards because I can rotate these three players which is great um, but if we can remember to hit that like button on this episode, forgot to mention it right at the start. Um, if we can get 500 likes for the Christmas special, that'd be fantastic. It's not a lot to ask. It's only a little bit of a click. Maybe some of you are on your new tablets, new phones, new laptops. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below what you got for Christmas, guys. Um, also, before we get into the second game, we're, we're going up against this team with Malapa. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of giveaways and stuff on Twitter over Christmas. I've got a series called 12 Packs of Christmas, which will start on the 25th of December, which should be today. It might already be up on my channel, and it will end on the 6th. So to be in those giveaways, just have to uh, be following me on Twitter, so make sure you do that. Um, but getting into this game, uh, 37th minute, I get an equaliser with Jimmy Kebe. I think, I, I think that's how you say his name, Kebe. Here, Vidra gets through, go for a shot. Hits the, hits the post, not the crossbar this time. Uh, but I do get another opportunity here to cross the ball into Frimpong. He just doesn't quite jump high enough, um, which is a bit disappointing. Because all I do is concede flipping headers in this game. But he does get through nicely here. I don't know what my defender was doing or where my other defenders were that I wasn't controlling. They kind of just disappeared and open up a gate for him to go into. Anyway, Vidra does get through not long after he does score. And uh, 55th minute, um, I do score a nice goal there with Williams. It was a sweaty goal, but I ha it had to be done. I hardly got any opportunities against this guy. Uh, Williams, again, hit very difficult position to shoot. Shot across goal, and it goes into the top corner. Very, very nice looking goal. Let me know what you think is the the best goal in this series. I was just thinking that I can't quite think what the best goal of the series was. And then Jimmy Kebby scores this goal. What the hell? Two goals back to back. Pretty similar positions of the pitch. One was on a half volley or a volley. And I think he got pissed off with that. I was doing a shush celebration. He was kind of um, getting a little bit happy when he was winning. So I thought I'd give him the shush. And I win that game 4-2. Obviously I get one plus one to my Dream Team points. And it's straight into the next game. No contracts, no... Uh, fitness cards or bronze packs or anything like that. We're straight into the next game and we come up against this team with Shelton up front. I was like, shit! I hate playing against this guy. He always does good against me. Um, and basically, the whole thing about this game is just no. The answer is just no. And you'll see what I mean by the end of uh, this game. Uh, first goal goes to me, 28th minute. Lovely brew, uh, so, lovely brew ball, ball. What does that make sense? That doesn't make sense. Um, lovely free ball, Williams scored there, he does get one back here though in the 34th minute with Shelton and that's just typical Shelton, that's why I don't like playing against him, 
here, Shelton, what the hell's going on? How, what the, what, what? No. FIFA, EA, no. Just, just no, okay? Free ball here, doesn't quite work out, but I do steal it off him with Vidra. And he takes a shot. Thought I'd get a corner from it. Didn't actually think I'd be able to follow up with a header or, any, or anything like that. Jimmy Kebb getting lucky in a way. 90th minute, thought, okay, okay. Um, this is pretty much done now, I think. Um, uh, but what the hell's happening here? Okay, so I'm going to boot it out. So go on and whistle. Blow now, please. Uh, extra time. We can just go into extra time. Hopefully I can score in that. Why is the bloody gameplay still going? Gets an opportunity here. Just cross it in straight away. Chests it down and scores from that angle. Come on, EA. That's just no. No, that does not happen. Well, you know, it does happen in real life. But this game is just so... Fucking annoying sometimes. Uh, obviously, this is the Xbox 360. Hopefully, we've got an Xbox One today. Um, probably some of you guys have got an Xbox One today, so maybe you'll start seeing this um, in Xbox One and next gen graphics. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much the end of the game. Just wanted to show you the last bit. It just didn't give me any extra time at all. As soon as he stole the ball, the whistle went basically. And I lost that game 3 2, so I'm now uh, given one more Dream Team point and I can spend it on a rare player on the next episode so make sure you leave your suggestions for players in the next episode I think I want a right back a left back um, also a left and right mid so let me know some possible players for that those positions and I hope you enjoy your Christmas day your Christmas food anyway guys thank you for watching and listening to this episode and I will see you next time bye um, in the left mid position we have Demarcus Beasley for 800 coins he has 92 pace 4 star weak foot but unfortunately only has two star skill moves again. In game wise, he feels very, very quick, um, although he does lack a little bit of balance. So he can weave in, in and out very well because he's got good agility, but his balance doesn't seem to.